Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood teen librarian, back with October's final craft or noon. And this week we are going to be creating our very own spell book, hex book, some type of creepy looking book that, that you can use as a journal or you can just make a cool book cover for a book you already own. Let's take a look and see what we got in our bags and then we'll get started on this creepy craft. Okay, now some of you are gonna have black books, some of you are gonna have white books and those are blank on the inside. They're pretty thin, so if you wanna go the journal route, that's what we're gonna be using. You should have a piece of regular foam and then this is alphabet letters that you're welcome to use already pre-cut. Um, I put in a back cutout in there and a skull cutout in there in case you want to use those, but you're more than welcome to draw your own thing, just like you are also more than welcome to draw your own letters if you want to. As always, we have a set of instructions. You should have some tissue paper in there. We have a white container that's going to have our Mod Podge or our glue, a black container that's going to have our black paint, and then just a little bit of silver paint in that final container. And a little bit of this goes a long way and you really don't need very much. As usual, I always have a pair of scissors handy. There should be a foam brush in there and then a paper clip because that's just going to help us kind of push down the tissue paper around the edges. We are going to start off with Mod Podge and then whatever shapes and what other letters. Um, and I'm going to show you a couple other things you can do on the cover of this book. So I know I want the bat on there and I have decided to make mine be a book of hexes. Um, the example I showed you earlier was one that was spells. Um, what I don't know is if I, I think I, I think I do. I think I want the letters and the bat to be a little sideways. One of the other things that you can do that's kind of fun is um, make corner plates. And they can be, you know, round shapes. I've got mine to kind of mimic that bat wing shape. You can really do whatever you want. Um, the other thing that I am gonna do is I cut out some diamonds that I want to go over the spine. So all we're gonna do is, first step, glue all of your letters on. While I am waiting for that to dry, I'm gonna scoot on over to my tissue paper and we are going to do a super duper high tech process. I'm just kidding. We are going to crumple it up into a book. And then uncrumple. Doesn't matter if it rips. All you want is this crazy connection. I'm going to do that to a couple of them. And once you've got this so they are not going anywhere, I am going to cover the whole front of this with Mod Podge. We like the foam brush because we don't have to be super exact. Just make sure that you are in all the cracks and crannies because we want that tissue paper to stick to every single part of this. Get it on pretty thick because we don't want it to dry out. Yet another good thing you don't have to be exact with. Just cover everything, including my corner plates. There we go. Okay, then I'm going to take my tissue paper. I'm going to leave a little bit on this edge, this edge, and this edge. So if I want to turn it under or cut it off, I'm going to be able to do either one. And then you just kind of want to stick it down. And you can squish it closer so you get a little bit extra room if you need to get in some of those areas. And again, it does not matter if it tears. 
doesn't matter if there's big fat wrinkles or tiny wrinkles, you kind of want all of those. And the reason that I gave you this is so you can kind of make sure that you get in all of those. Make sure that kind of move the glue around a little bit. Get around all your letters because otherwise you're not going to be able to read them later. And so some of this you'll see I'm, I'm going right through the tissue paper and that doesn't even matter. It's a bit of an inexact craft which is kind of nice sometimes. And then you can do the same thing on the spine or on the back of your book to kind of create that creepy leather look. And once it has dried, you're going to have this leather texture and we are going to paint over it with our black paint. And I'm just kind of putting it on the tip of my foam brush and just dabbing it on there. And you're going to want to make sure that it gets everywhere. So inside every single little nook and cranny, um, and just go over it and go over it and go over it. It'll actually dry pretty quickly. So you don't have to worry about that too much. Um, you just really wanna make sure that you are getting it right up next to the edges of those letters. And once you've put on your first coat, you can kind of tip your book to the side and forward and backward to make sure that you got it everywhere and you just don't see any of that tissue paper kind of peeking out. Um, in between all your letters, in between everything. You can get the sides and the back now, and then we're just going to let it dry. Okay, so all of this has dried, and I have tucked in around the edge here, and then just pinned down a page, so that's all covered. And now what we're gonna do um, is take the slightest bit of this silver paint. It's really not going to take very much at all. And we're going to just wipe it on all of the areas that are raised. So on the side, I've got my diamond shapes and on the front, I've got my corners. And really, when I say it doesn't take a lot, that is exactly what I mean. So I'm going to like touch my brush in there and then I'm kind of going to wipe most of it off. And then when I go over, those raised bits, it should make them show up. And then I'm just gonna go back in that part that I had wiped off. And I wanna make sure that I get the edges for sure. I don't know if I need all the middles and I know I want those. Actually, I want a lot of those. And then just really, really lightly when there's almost nothing left on the brush is when I'm going to go over these other parts. Because you want it enough that they can see the coloring and it looks like it's an old leathery book. get these because anything raised is going to get that treatment like I said just really doesn't take very much at all to give it that cool old Halloweeny look in your bags this week you got a form that you can fill out if you're interested in doing our subscription box next month and what we're gonna do is, you have four choices that you can choose from, type of book, type of craft, and every box will have a snack. Um, if you get those forms back to us by the 7th, and you can take a picture and text it to us, or you can bring them back into the library, 
and then we'll have a box ready for you to pick up specialized to your preferences on November 21st. So if you have any questions, come on down to the library and ask. Otherwise, I sure hope we will see you uh, signing up for one of those. Thanks for following along, guys. I'll see you later.